Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple. All right, what's good, Ravens fam? So we got some. Uh, we already had some um, some haters. We already got some haters with Zay Flowers. I don't know who this dude is, but he's supposed to be an NFL draft extra Van Gunza or whatever. He says they are going to use Zay Flowers like a glorified Devin Duvernay. We're all going to get swindled. And I'm like, what the heck? Like that shows you they they need to make a rule. If you don't pay attention to the team, you shouldn't you shouldn't be sitting there trying to report and be a journalist about the team. Because how the heck Zay Flowers is gonna be a glorified Devin Duvernay if Greg Roman is gone? People think they know how this 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 offensive coordinator is gonna do. But he himself has said that he used what he has as weapons. And his track record speaks for itself. When he was in Tampa Bay, Mike Evans was beasting, as he still is, 1,000 yards a season. But he used Mike Evans really good. The only problem with that, with his quarterback he had at the time, was giving the ball to the other team a lot. Then you go to the Browns, Odell Beckham was cooking, Jarvis Landry was cooking. Then you go to the Bulldogs, didn't have no wide receivers. Best weapons was tight end, tight ends was cooking. So it makes you think, like, what is this dude talking about? You are a journalist. You should have been doing your homework. Way beforehand. You're getting paid big bucks, but you're talking crazy on the radio. Showing people that you don't even know what you're speaking about. Even in the comments, a lot of people was clowning him. Because the Ravens have a new offense coordinator, as I stated. But on the good news, Lewis Riddick... Said the smartest decision made in the draft was the Baltimore Ravens when they decided to select Zay Flowers, 22nd overall. The decision made in this draft was by the Baltimore Ravens when they decided to select Zay Flowers, 22nd overall in the first round, to help Lamar Jackson as he continues to develop as a quarterback for their franchise. I think there's no question that when you combine him with Mark Andrews, their tight end, with Odell Beckham Jr., with Rashad Bateman, that this team will look much different in the 2023 season, headed by Todd Monken, their new offensive coordinator, who comes over from the University of Georgia. This evolution is going to be something that allows them to really challenge the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC for supremacy and ultimately representation in the Super Bowl. Even he can see the pictures the Ravens are seeing. Even some Raven fans are seeing the picture. I'm seeing the picture of you have Rashad Bateman, Odell, Mark Andrews, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Isaiah Likely, Zay Flowers. You have all those weapons. So, that in itself says Lamar can do pretty much almost anything he wants. Bar as the people, everyone is healthy, Lamar can literally beat you with his legs or he can beat you with his arm. You can't really double team anyone. You try to double team Odell, you're leaving Mark Andrews, Bateman, Zay open. Even JK in the back running the ball. That in itself is a beautiful thing. Lewis Riddick sees it. 
But this other cat, Alex Dunlap, he obviously doesn't see it. So big props for Lewis Riddick for, for saying that. Just with that one pick, Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers is not a, a duplicate of Hollywood. He's on a whole nother level than Hollywood, in my opinion. And I do like Hollywood. But Zay will fight for the yards. Hollywood will fall on the ground. Zay's route running is crispy. He has a chip on his shoulder. I seen one uh, podcast, video podcast. They was asking him about his past offense coordinators. Some offense coordinators use numbers for his routes. And some use different types of language for routes. And he mastered both. So that tell you right there, his football IQ is really good. Really good. So I can't wait. I know Lewis really can't wait. I know the, some of the smart Ravens flat fans can't wait. He's already a fan of, he's already repping, I mean, Lamar. And he continually works and works. He did things with, <laughs> he once trained with, uh, I almost said Odell, uh, A.B., he wants train with AB. Route running. Perfect. He even broke down his play where we all saw on the highlight where he caught that pass over the safety's head. Was that over the head? That was beautiful. He broke that down. He said he was going. It was really supposed to be I forgot what, what type of route he said but he said he faked that guy in so bad where he, he was already in, in mid route he was thinking of what the defender would do so he could counter that that is crazy but I can't wait they, a, lot, a lot of people say no excuses for Lamar. We shall see. As long as he, he this this group is as good as we think they are. That's all that matters. So anyway, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. And you already know. God bless.